Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In the last lesson we finished the pagination component of our application. Today we will start the tooltip component. What is tooltip? Let's go our static page and here is our static page test.html. When you come over edit button and delete button, as you can see you see tooltip message here. Today we will implement this. So let's close this test.html and here's our application. But before tooltip, actually I want to implement something related with pagination. As you can see here, we have showing 5 out of 25 entries message. This has to be dynamic. Before tooltip, I will implement this. Let's go back our code and open source in source let's open pagination.js in pagination.js as you can see here is our static part here five is number of employees which are currently showing and 25 is total number of all employees of course in our case five has to be two and 25 has to be five because per page we have two employee and we have five employees in total let's go back our code and in our code let's open employee list.js in employee list.js here the current employees is the employees which are currently showing and sorted employees are the employees which we are receiving from context and it is all of our employees if we go to our context employee context.js as you can see we are receiving all employees as a sorted employees because we want to sort our employees also now we will send these current employees and sorted employees to our pagination let's go our pagination component here we are sending total page num and current page let's make this code a little bit clear and here I will send also first current employees, second sorted employees. I will send current employees as a current employees, current employees and sorted employees, sorted employees as a sorted employees. Of course now we have to catch these props from pagination.js, save the file, let's go to pagination.js and here we have to sorry not here we have to catch current employees and sorted employees current employees and sorted employees we will need the length of these parameters let's come here and for beside of five i will write a javascript expression current employees dot length and beside 25 I will write another JavaScript expression and this will be sorted employees dot length save the file everything is working let's go back our code and here as you can see we are showing the current number let's go page two but we don't show this sorted employees why because of course this has to be length save the file and let's go back our code and as you can see now we are showing successful number of current employees and number of total employees and when we go back page 3 as you can see we have one employee and total five employee okay now we can talk about tooltip messages for this reason first let's go back React bootstrap documentation here let's go to components in the components we have tooltip section when we click tooltip section we have sample codes let's check this code firstly this look like a button in this case when we click the button we see tooltip messages but actually we don't use this because we want to trigger our tooltip message when we come over the button for this reason we will use this over 
overlay trigger. In overlay trigger case, when we come over the button, as you can see, we see the message automatically. Here, let's analyze this code. First, we need overlay trigger component. And inside of overlay trigger component, we need overlay property. And inside of this overlay property, we will put tooltip component here. ID has to show the place of tooltip. In our case, our placement will be top. And then we have to put button. So let's go back our code. And here, our button is inside of employee list.js. Here's our button. Here, before beginning, we have to erase this title and data toggle properties. We don't need them. Also for edit button, I am erasing title and data toggle. Save the file. And first, what we need? We need overlay trigger component. Overlay trigger component. Overlay trigger opening tag. I will add overlay property. Overlay property. And inside of overlay property, I have to put a tooltip component tooltip and this tooltip has the property of id why we were using this id because this id is showing the place of our tooltip message actually i am copying this sample code and i am making some small adjustments nothing more than that let's go back our code again and id has to be Let's open a curl braces. Inside of a curl braces, I will put backticks. Inside of a backticks, I will write here tooltip dash top because I want that my messages has to be at the top of my button. And here for message, I will write edit. And finally, what I have to do? I have to put this button, this edit button inside of our overlay trigger component save the file this clause has to be here because i will put this button inside of overlay trigger component save the file okay let's think about why we are receiving this error actually we are using react bootstrap library to get rid of the dependence of jquery but we are receiving this message let's go back our code and here our code as you can see we are importing tooltip from bootstrap but we have to import this tooltip not from bootstrap we have to import this from react bootstrap module so i will write here tooltip save the file now everything is working let's go back our code and after refreshing the file as you can see our edit tooltip is working let's implement this delete tooltip let's go back our code here employee.js actually i will copy this overlay trigger and paste here and i copy this delete button over this copy button and i have to change here the tooltip message this has to be delete save the file let's go back our code refresh our application and here as you can see our delayed tooltip message is working also successfully this is the end of today's lesson we will see each other in the next lesson